this might actually be the longest single rally in rise of kingdoms history and our alliance was the one defending the pass what's going on guys cheers boy do i have a treat for you ladies and gentlemen this rally and pass defense lasted over nine hours that's right a single rally and a single garrison being reinforced for over nine hours straight now i don't know if this is actually a record i really have no idea from the people that i've talked to who are active in rise of kingdoms the longest they've seen is like seven or eight hours so this might actually be the longest ever now i wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't right because reports like this come uh, come around once in a while that are absolutely insane and i am so happy that i have the full report here because i was jumping in this in this pass over and over and over again i had like four arms in this past for like three hours straight this was honestly some of the most fun that I've had in rise of kingdoms in a long time so today we're gonna go over everything that came with this pass now look at this guys look at this I I've got I've got footage that we're gonna go over here uh, I obviously recorded a bunch of the footage but this is actually and it's like a CVS receipt boys this is like what the hell is this dude this is actually insane okay this is actually insane so as you can see here the rally started at 203 utc this was not the first rally on the pass by the way we had lost the pass earlier in the day while i was at work i'm not entirely sure what happened but eventually our coalition and my alliance sort of gained back control of the pass uh and that's when i got off work came home and started just pumping the pass full of troops now i also have a screenshot of my hall of heroes from before and after this rally so stay tuned for that but as you can see okay our defense 1.3 billion power loss on our side compared to the 1.1 billion loss on the rally side now what's crazy here is that this a screenshot obviously does not paint the entire picture of course when you have a nine hour rally this was running I can't even believe I'm saying it guys I went to bed after like three hours of reinforcing and I woke up like five hours later just to see how the how the rally went and I was like wait a minute where's the report in my inbox and I was like no way no way so I log in I go over to the pass and they were still going at it it was the set so I teleported right back I'm like okay I guess I guess we're gonna just keep going I guess this the rally is just never gonna end okay but yeah I literally went to bed and woke up and came back and it was still I, I can't I seriously can't can't believe that this actually happened so one thing that I noticed is that when you have reports this long you can't look at the troops it just it's too much the game just cannot hold all that data this it doesn't let you see how many troops everybody put in luckily I have screenshots for for my armies at least uh but you can see here um our on the defense side we have almost a hundred million dead units we have 93 or 92 and a half million severely wounded I can't even I 1.3 billion slightly wounded units and on the rally side we have 73.6 million deads with about 70 million severely wounded and 1 billion slightly wounded now i also don't have a full breakdown like the, the whole report is just broken okay the whole report is broken obviously we have a kmk over here absolute savage of a, of a garrison zenobia yss versus attila and nevsky now on our end we have the support skill for belisarius this is an absolute must have they have it on the rally as well 25 percent increased damage under 50 percent is insane like you're gonna get under 50 percent very quickly in a rally like this so if you don't have the 25 percent increased damage you are severely missing out we also had uh Wu Zetian's support skill now this is interesting right because you know obviously Attila is immune to silence so that part of this support skill is non-functional we did get uh 20 percent of stats here we got the defense we got the health very important um we also were trying things like Charles Martel's support skill which is good if you're getting swarmed but in this instance we weren't so we decided Martel skill wasn't going to be great obviously we would have loved to use the YSS skill which they had on their rally uh but you can't use it because we had YSS in the garrison now you could have made the argument that Joan of Arc support skill would have been better here I'm not really sure but what I can say is that we lasted nine hours with this so it, it's actually insane I'm shocked that I can even open the the battle log okay that is actually insane 
if we take a look here the art our side has 43 percent attack 39 percent defense three percent troop health 26 percent all damage whereas they had 45 percent all damage so crazy stuff there oh my god okay so we're taking 15 percent less skill damage 15 percent less normal attack damage that's important stuff we have eight percent counter attack damage but guys this is just i mean how uh, i th this is like gonna crash the game if i if i try to scroll through this it's just impossible i i i'm not even gonna try okay but the thing about this screenshot right and you may have even seen this screenshot floating around uh in the community is that it doesn't paint the whole picture okay because YSS has AOE, which is, I mean, guys, we can go through this and you can decide for yourself who the actual winner of this rally was. I would say that the deads were probably pretty even on top of the fact that we had pretty much every like 10 or 15 minutes we had a counter rally hitting the uh hitting the, the rally right and i'm just going to show you some of these counter rallies but this is a pretty good indication of what virtually every counter rally looked like so we had zhang yu with nevsky and the benefit here is that zhang yu has additional aoe so not only does yss have aoe for the pass but we have zhang yu's aoe to sort of get people away from the field get people away from the pass itself and as you can see here we obviously took more deads but it was almost a three to one trade when it comes to filling the hospital and then on top of that you have all of the additional aoe damage hitting the people in the open field and guys the, the, like i said this is i mean here we have uh, over uh, more than about a two to one trade for severely wounded units here we can see what was this one this was a basically a three to one trade and this is like literally these are just the ones that i was in but these counter rallies continued after i went to bed this was another one that was like a three to one trade for the counter rallies and again every single one of these counter rallies had some form of aoe damage hitting people in the open field the counter rallies on this were absolutely insane look at this another three to one trade it's just Tommy came in with his this was another two to one trade for severely wounded units like the entire time that this nine hour rally was going on we had counter rallies hitting it was absolutely insane so when you factor in all of the counter rallies for the entire nine hours okay uh that this that this past defense was going on i think looking at this screenshot does not give you the full picture when again we're taking two to one or three to one trades on every single counter rally every 10 or 15 minutes or so uh and again we could scroll through this together uh, and i don't think we could possibly hit the bottom right like this is this is one of the longest reports in in rise of kingdoms history like there's just no doubt about it if this isn't the number one longest running single rally in the entire game i mean look at this oh my god then this is it's got to be top five easily top 10. uh and again it's it's hard for me to say because rise of kingdoms is a global game you know this game is it played like oh my god a million power loss just on this one army dude uh this game is played around the world right so a lot of times you may have passes or you may have reports like this that are insane that only float around in the korean community or the, you know there's just so many different languages uh language barriers and things like that so you know i can't say for sure that this is the longest rally ever but nine hours is the longest that i've ever seen it's the longest that my friends have ever seen um and it's guys i mean we can scroll again we could scroll forever and you could see here just how many people got hit by the aoe people who accidentally collided with the pass i mean when you have a rally like this it's just impossible to understand what's what's going on like it's just so much chaos for such a long time and again i i mean i, I don't even know we're not even halfway through this okay i don't even know how long i have to scroll but i think you get the point where you know some of these obviously seven thousand power not a big deal uh but then you have like almost a million power loss here so when you add up all of the aoe damage from yss on top of all of the counter rallies that we did that traded just like i showed you before i mean this was at the very least uh an even trade if not in favor for us now this was another one of the uh of the counter rallies this obviously was a different rally and we're going to get into sort of what happened uh at the end of this because obviously we defended the past this is a victory for us um so you know obviously this is this is our victory but eventually little spoiler the uh, the past did fall at some point now let's go ahead and uh take a look because this just happened like this literally happened like two hours ago um let's go ahead and take a look at the map here and i will show you guys sort of what's going on in my kvk right now so this is the pass in question okay this is basically where all 
while the fighting was going down and you can see here there's still a ton of presence uh we basically cleared away from the field once the pass fell now basically the whole point of holding the pass was to make sure that we could build this fort right here we wanted to we had lost uh we had lost some ground we wanted to just drop a fort and secure this pass so that way we could stay uh and hold here for Kingsland right Kingsland is opening very very soon and there it is the bundle literally just popped up okay so Kingsland is literally in just a few hours and so we wanted to make sure that the enemy couldn't push through past seven and start to really give us trouble in this zone so we wanted to hold the pass the benefit of the Zenobia YSS for us and I think one of the reasons that we were able to keep this going for so long was that uh, we could put anything in the pass right this was a mixed garrison we didn't use any siege by the way okay Okay, the markers clearly indicated that we should not use any siege so these are real units these are all infantry archers cavalry but for us we could put any of those three units into the pass and it was pretty effective for the enemy they basically had to use cavalry there was really nothing you could do when you have a Tilanevsky, you got to use cavalry so for us it was a lot easier to defend so I don't know how many like after this ended obviously the enemy started rallying with archers I'm pretty sure the entire coalition uh, on the enemy team is out of cabs I'm, like I, I mean a nine hour rally boys I mean a nine hour rally how do you how does the kingdom even have any cabs left by the end of that that's what I I wanted to know and that's why I did not expect this rally to go on for so long I mean it's just how do you have how do you have nine hours worth of cavalry reinforcement it's actually insane now before we take a look at some footage okay just so you have an idea this was my Hall of Heroes uh before the rally basically if you guys don't know the Hall of Heroes doesn't update until the rally or garrison that you're in is over right because it's not done calculating how many troops that you lost so before I went to bed even though I was already in the pass for like three hours this is basically the troops that I had before this nine hour pass defense started I want you guys to comment down below how many dead tier five infantry do you think I had when this rally report was over comment it down below I want to see what you guys think okay so I do apologize for the aspect ratio of this video but I was filming it in bed on my iPhone but I'm just going to pause it here for a second okay you can see the Attila rally down here you can also see nearby the enemy was strategically fighting each other so that way they would get a Joan of Arc buff they also had Trajan and they had Constantine was in here as well so they actually had a really big advantage when it came to buffing their own army now the thing with us is when you're in the past um and and correct me if I'm wrong but I don't believe there's a way to get a Joan of Arc buff or a a, a Constantine buff onto the pass because that affects armies nearby they did have a Joan of Arc and a uh, Constantine pretty much going up the entire time which definitely you know if it was effective um it was definitely not good for us because that is not something that we could have uh replicated we could not have had that same advantage uh, but as you can see here I have a bunch of armies in the past and this was basically uh the whole situation for the entire evening when I was when this rally first started now um you could also see they had a little bit of a Cleopatra right there which does some does some healing as well and if you take a look at the report you will see that there was some healing on the uh the Attila Nevsky rally so as you can see here I'm just kind of looking at my armies seeing what my um <laughs> I might buy the newspaper tomorrow if I could afford it uh, I was looking at my armies basically what our strategy was at that point uh was to refresh your troops under 20k so when the troops went 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 below 20,000 that's what you can see the marker here um that's when we would remove our army and the reason for this obviously if you're new to the game you don't understand this um the pass can only have I think up to a hundred people in the pass at a single time even if there's space available you can only have up to 100 armies in that pass so if your army has only a small amount of troops left you're actually just taking up space because once you hit that cap people can't reinforce it even if there's even if it looks like there's space available so when our troops went under 20 we would you know retreat and then refresh and come back and that was basically the strategy strategy for the whole time and you can see here 326 UTC so this rally had already been going for about an hour and a half at this point I want to say for the record I had about 88 million power when this rally started uh and I will give you a little plot twist I'm under 80 million at this point so I lost uh lost like 8 million power from a single rally no big deal no big deal but we can kind of we can kind of skim through this this is basically the whole strategy this is basically all we were doing I was just checking to see uh if I could join the pass and that's pretty much it we would launch counter rallies periodically if we take a look at this uh at this fort here we had about five minutes left at this point um and so at this point we were pretty confident that like hey this is going to be fine the fort's going to be built 
uh, and then we'll be we'll be good to go for when King's Land actually does open you can see the counter rally coming in here coming in hot good looking looking good looking real good and there it is that is the Attila counter rally coming in coming in hot baby uh and you can see I I threw my my Nevsky in there just to sort of support I basically used all tier five in the evening and then when I woke up today I was like okay I got to use like some tier four because this is just this is just ridiculous right um and you can see here that we, we we're trying to swarm it down uh but the the strategy for swarming it down the reason look at that that's that's sick right there that's that's two Attila's colliding um the reason that we didn't try harder to swarm this rally down right because remember Attila is pretty nasty to swarm but he doesn't have to Takeda behind him right there's really no like Takeda is a big part of the anti swarm because it's very punishing when it comes to normal attack and counter attack damage uh but here we have Nevsky right which does a ton of single target damage with that skill shot and of course he's he's a bit tanky and there's a you know a lot to love about Nevsky I'm not saying anything against him for sure but but what I am saying is that you know it would be probably easier to swarm this rally down than it would be to swarm down and Attila Takeda for example at least maybe from the trades perspective it's hard to say obviously Attila Nevsky is insane but what the reason that we didn't try super hard was a this was happening at nighttime right so a lot of what you see here are like farm accounts and things like that so even though we had a ton of field presence it wasn't like we could guarantee that we could clear the field if we pushed through and on top of that the reason that we lost the pass the first time was because we made a big push and we did try to swarm that rally and unfortunately that is what made us lose the pass because when you have everybody focused on field fighting you don't have as many people reinforcing that pass and keeping the pass was the number one priority we didn't care about pushing them out we didn't care about extending into their zone we just wanted to make sure we held the pass long enough to get our forts down so that way we could 100 secure our entry into King's Land and uh for us it actually did work out now here we're at 432 UTC so this is a little bit uh later down the line and that pass is still going uh now as you can see here we do have you know some of the QVs are absolutely insane okay they're just absolutely ridiculous pushing through just it, it this entire experience was just absolutely uh it's like nothing I've ever been a, a part of before obviously this is not the first time that there's been insane uh past defenses right uh but this certainly was a uh, one for the rise of kingdoms history books and here we have a Zangyu counter rally this was definitely a little bit more effective I think than the Attila counter rally uh and this is where we started to get a lot of that AoE value from the counter rallies themselves now after the nine hour rally ended the enemy started rallying with Gilga and Henry as well as Boudicca rallies okay and that's what we're looking at here here, and I just want to point out really quick your, your boy lost a, a lot of power here okay but the archer rallies are where we started to slip up a bit defending against the cavalry was not too difficult I mean obviously you saw the trade but the archers hurt like a bitch okay they hurt like a bitch it's no surprise but one thing that we did find was that um if we could counter rally with XY and Nevsky we actually could get pretty good trades against the archers right that's one of the things about countering Gilgamesh right is that it's just you, you can really do heavy damage with a high dps cavalry march and that's what we went ahead and and chose to do now you here you can see here the counter rally was able to uh to defeat the Gilgamesh Henry um the report was not great and then eventually the pass was taken from a double rally now this is where we actually used Yadvi guys you can see here we really were getting melted and I was stuffing troops into the pass to see if we could hold on if we had a better garrison we could put in uh or if this was actually going to be the end of it and unfortunately um this double rally did seem to do the trick uh there's just so much single target archer dps coming out of these coming out of these armies that it's just like it's almost impossible for uh you know for, for for us to defend against this at this point especially again after a nine hour rally like oh my god it, it was actually insane now one of the things that I thought was interesting is that they didn't double rally before this right that's that's one thing that I noticed um and it seemed like it was sort of like a gentleman's agreement right like we're not going to storm down your 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 rally we're not going to push the field and uh they're not double rallying in exchange right and we just wanted to see like who's going to be the victor of this nine hour rally that was sort of uh what we were looking to find out right that that's that's what it felt like from from my end 
uh here we can see people asking to see if we can swarm down obviously swarming uh henry is not a great strategy but hey at this point we were taking so much damage it was actually ridiculous now we did end up uh, as you can see i jumped ahead a little bit we switched back to zenobia um that seemed to be a little bit better and we really were just holding out to see if we could get that counter rally that xy to just deal damage and just break one of them like taking two was insane but if we could break one that would be that would be good right that that was kind of what we were hoping uh, but at this point we kind of knew like okay there's there's no way like we're, we we are not going to hold this pass for much longer because taking double rallies like this is just too expensive and there's no reason to right the whole point was to last until king's land we were able to do that so why would we continue to take these uh these negative trades uh and that's that's pretty much it so as you can see here tons of sad faces are leaving tons of sad faces are breaking uh and that was it the pass did end up falling their double rally was successful now here you could see we had a salad and garrison for like one second when they switched from Yadviga to um to, to Zenobia so this was not uh this was not actually Saladin this was I believe the report from Yadviga herself so you could see the trade here was not very good with the Boudicca Henry rally so definitely not something we wanted to uh keep trying and again obviously we lost the pass so there's no way we could try it again but here like dude it was just nasty it was just a nasty nasty double rally so much damage coming out of those two armies combined it's just it was ridiculous and the Gilgamesh you know sort of hurting the healing on Zenobia um was was a good strategy on their part for sure and then we sort of braced ourselves for the open field fighting um but we quickly realized like we were in no position to to again open field defend and also it didn't really matter we didn't really care to open field defend we also Im I immediately got pretty much everyone in this past rally got a fate changer <laughs> to my knowledge okay it was just everyone put so much on the line that it triggered fate changer for basically everybody and this was my hall of heroes after the nine hour pass rally you can see 1.1 million dead t5 infantry you can see i started to use a little bit of t4 here when i woke up this morning we have two hundred and fifty six thousand dead tier 5 calves 217,000 dead tier five archers and look this is this is the state of kvk okay this is the power up blockade feature okay they own the pass uh and their rally can't go anywhere because the because we just there's just two there's just two guys just chilling right in front of it completely blocking the rally and now we're going to counter rally it and uh it's going to be it's going to be insane like this is this is one of the things about the blockade feature that makes no sense to me and i just think is so stupid like it's so dumb how do you have a whole rally three million units are blocked by a freaking nevsky with a bunch of his buddies right they just canceled it and now look they can't go anywhere where are they gonna go it's filled with a bunch of tsao tsaos and things that that can't take any damage canceling is actually probably not a good idea because now they're gonna have to fight all on their own and look this guy got away from the blockade right and that's the reason why they were surrounding it because they knew that they could blockade some of these people in uh but it's just it's just dirty man it's just nasty like I, I, the blockade feature not great um i've come to realize that it's probably not going to be something that uh that Lilith should continue implementing like player collision in a game mode like this just makes absolutely no sense like it's so chaotic already and the fact that you can't move is just dumb like these guys were doomed to die like there's nothing they could have done about it right and they couldn't have done anything about the rally either it was stuck like once you launch it you can't like turn around right all you can do is disband it and force everyone to take their uh take their sev wounds right so yeah that's kind of the state of the past right now now if we take a look obviously my power is 77 million um I do have I got like 40 million kill points from that which is like absolutely insane and of course we made it in the newspaper for this rally with 325 million deads and sev wounds combined this is uh this is insane this is actually insane now I know a lot of you guys like to goof around about the whole kill points thing okay the ah oh, Omni York doesn't actually fight in Rise of Kingdoms look man if you're gatekeeping fun in a mobile game you're just a dork bro oh you need 1 billion kill points otherwise you're you're a new oh you need two dude you need 2 billion kill points otherwise you're garbage you're being a nerd okay it's weird it's a mobile game relax but let it be known okay I'm I'm okay with losing 10 million power on a single pass just for fun okay that's just how it is if it's a good time if it's a good trade I have no problem stuffing it full of t5s it doesn't matter to me I'll zero myself there it, it's cool luckily for me I didn't have to because now we're gonna get to go into King's Land and I'm actually gonna have some troops left which is which is sick anyway guys I just wanted to take this moment to shout out my Alliance shout out my kingdom shout out the coalition okay shout out to everybody involved and also 
shout out to the enemies here okay shout out to vest i've heard this guy is a savage so i'm sure some of you guys already know about them uh but shout out to jt31 shout out to uh everyone who was involved here obviously you know we're at war this is not over king's land is coming up in a few hours um but you know just the fact that we were able to have such an insane exchange um makes you really have some respect for the enemy team as well right regardless of 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 how much toxicity is in lost kingdom chat or whatever the case might be this is history that we made and it's only possible when you have a strong enemy and a strong alliance so huge shout out to uh to my alliance and everybody involved here for sure if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it you made it all the way to the end you might as well drop a thumbs up on it while you're here also subscribe to the channel if you're new and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video what do you guys think about this rally is this the longest running single rally you've ever seen i would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below and with that being said guys Thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.